Okay, doing a functional test of my stuff. So I have my flight controller, GPS is hanging out the window, my motor is sitting over there, I've got my video camera there, I've got my transmitter over there, and I've even got my receiver here, and iNav watching the whole thing from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in stuff. And we click and whir over there. The beck is beeping, the escape is beeping. The escape started that double beep after I did a few engine revs in a previous test, so I suspect I need to do some adjustment on the escape. Um, there's my, whoops, let me move this out of the way. There's my heads up display. And I have the status, should be down here if anything is bad, it's not. So here's my iNav display, everything is showing green. I'm gonna go over to the modes tab and I just stuck a random switch on ARM. I don't have anything else set up right now. I have my transmitter here, and I'm gonna go have ARM on this switch. I throw the switch, whoops, and I'm armed. So, yay team, I'm armed. And the, the um, display is now showing that I'm in air mode. Let me unarm it, because I don't remember what that said before. Oh, after I unarm it, it goes to the display of stuff. So here I'm rearmed. Oh, and I'm showing, let's see, um, 12 satellites, air mode, it's got distance and everything. 12.3 volts, I'm gonna reach over to my variable power supply and turn the voltage. And you can see that I'm adjusting the voltage. Yay team, so voltage display works. And I've actually calibrated that, so it's, it's accurate to what's going into the whole system. Um, by the way, it's drawing 0.4 of an amp right now. So now for the acid test, I put just one servo on the left-hand side, so I'm going to wiggle things. You can hear it over there. So my servo's working, and now the final test, a little engine rev. Whoops. And this time it's not revving. That may be because the escape is bitching. It did rev previously, um, but it's not revving now. So I'm not sure what that's about, but I did get power through it before. And now the beck has stopped beak or the uh, escape has stopped beeping. There we go. So I suspect this is in a, uh, some kind of calibration issue with the escape. So um, it looks like I am working.